What's up guys and welcome to the start of what could be a new series here on the channel. I want you guys to let me know after you've watched this video. This is Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts. So it's a brand new game that just came out today and honestly, I'm just always intrigued by these sorts of games. Like we've played some of the Ghost Warrior franchise in the past on this channel. We've played Sniper Elite. We've played like the Hitman Sniper missions and stuff like that. Like sniping and methodically picking people off and using stealth and stuff is always a lot of fun. So I definitely wanted to at least check this out. You know, like I said, this could be the start of a series. If we enjoy it, we'll play through the whole thing. If you guys aren't really feeling it, then it may only be a couple of videos, but at least we can say we checked it out. So without further ado, Let's just go ahead and hop into this. Here we go. Greetings, mercenary. I represent a third party who wishes to make use of your specialist skills. We are aware of your usual fees and are comfortable meeting the cost. In fact, we have several contracts for you to execute. All are in the newly formed Siberian Republic. As you are aware, Siberia was once part of the Russian Federation, which used Siberia's huge natural resources to bolster Russian economic success. But Siberia did not gain from this relationship. In fact, it was merely exploited and used. A political movement was established. The people for an independent Siberia. Even the regional governor, Nergui Kurchatov, was swept up in the wave, joining the movement and cutting off Siberia from the Kremlin. The Siberian War of Independence followed. Russia's armies contained many Siberians and defections were rife. The war was over quickly. Kurchatov became Siberia's first prime minister, governing his new country with his family and friends. But, like many before them, Kurchatov and his allies hoarded this wealth, and ordinary Siberians were once again left wanting. Of course. Betrayed and angry, a militia formed, calling themselves the Siberian Wolves, and they declared war against their government. They attacked oil fields and stole state assets. Their leader, Nastya Surikova, has now become a hero to the people, and Kurchatov's nemesis. Our proposal comes with one requirement. You will need to wear a new high-tech mask we supply. It will facilitate direct communication between us. But there are other benefits for you, including combat enhancements. My designation will be Handler. Yours will be Seeker. I look forward to working with you. All right, so we're being hired. We're going to have various contracts and people to take out and stuff and uh sounds uh sounds pretty cool so here we go the the bashkit bashkit proving ground looks like this is going to be our first contract it's pretty cool so far Waiting, seeker you should have already received the mask it is a highly advanced prototype that enhances your capacity in the field and syncs with your equipment the mask allows you to upload contracts data to the client after each mission. Before we drop you in the designated location, we want to make sure you understand the tech we've given you. For this purpose, you'll be taken to a secure training facility hidden in a secluded mountain location. You're going to perform a series of simple tasks to familiarize yourself with the mask and for us to make the necessary adjustments. Report back when you're at the location, Seeker. Alright, so let's go ahead and load this up. We're gonna start her up. We've got our mask. We've got our rifle. Ready it's time to, uh... There's a training weapon nearby. Gear up. Time to get after it. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and pick him up. This is our sniping spot. Take a prone position. First, switch your mask to binocular mode. Now, try to mark the target over there. Tagging enemies allows you to measure the distance to selected targets and keep track of them. Alternatively, take out your rifle and see for yourself. All right. Compare target's height to DRS display in the upper left corner of your scope. It should tell you how far away the target is. This system scales up the display according to your current zoom stage. I believe I don't have to remind you to hold your breath to stabilize your stance. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Shoot this target. 
So we're about 118 meters and it's going a little bit to the left, so we're gonna aim a little to the right and go just like that. Well done. Proceed to the next one. Not bad. Let's try a greater distance. Notice your mask's input on distance and wind. It will help you aim. Okay. So check the distance and wind direction. Aim for a headshot. 150 meters, we're gonna put it about here. Just like that. Good. Dude, this is sick. Easier to aim with your scope calibrated according to the target's distance. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 280. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the range. Ah, so now we could just shoot him straight up along that line, although it's going to have to be about right here. Good. Hit four more. Practice makes perfect. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit some some far ones. Get a little little challenging up in here. We'll go to this guy up here. Oh, so you gotta you gotta look at the face to be able to mark them. Gotcha. Okay. So 262. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up for 260. We're gonna steady our breath. It's gonna be right about there. That's a headshot. Over here, 386. Oh shoot, he's moving. Woohoo! That was a nice shot, baby. Oh my goodness. All right, over here, 374. So I'm gonna say that's 400. We're gonna have to go right in the middle. We're gonna wanna go right about there. That's another one. And then this one is gonna be a 224. So we'll go down to 220. And we'll hit it right about there. Oh, a little high. Well done. There we go. I've unlocked the gateway to the training grounds. Okay. The shooting range beyond is at your disposal if you want to practice before your first contract. Nah, man, I'm good to go. I feel good. It will always be available for you should you want to polish your skills in between missions. Yeah, dude, this is this is pretty sick. Uh oh, we've got short range practice. Should we check out short range just in case? Although it is preferable for you to complete contracts discreetly, close combat is sometimes necessary. Pick up the AK-47 and the uh, the little pistol here. So we can just, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. It's just kind of a normal, uh, how do we switch to the AK? Oh, you can have three, three at once. Yeah, this, it's okay. It doesn't really feel that good, to be honest. I think we're going to focus on, uh, we're going to focus on using the sniper rifle for sure. So let's go up, let's get out of here. And I say, I mean, I, I think I'm ready to take on the first contract. I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty confident. So here we go. We're going to be going to the Altai Mountains. We need to download the plans, find the spy, eliminate the Dimitri, destroy all the test results, and then steal samples of the virus. Let's go ahead and start this up. Greetings, Seeker. On this mission, your primary target is Dmitry Ivanovsky. He is a former Russian Armed Forces General. He earned the nickname Bio Ivanovsky during the Second Mongolian War due to his persistent use of both chemical and biological weapons. So this is not a good guy. He is first cousin to the Siberian Prime Minister Nergui Kurchatov. During the Siberian War of Independence, Ivanovsky defected from the Russians to join his cousin. Kurchatov gave him the notorious Altai-24 Soviet Military Research Facility as thanks for his support. Our intel for this mission comes from an agent planted in the facility. Before our source went dark, his intel specified that Ivanovsky had completed human trials of his bioweapon. We understand that Kurchatov plans to use the weapon to secure Siberia's disputed border territories. The General's plans are stored on an encrypted military-grade laptop. Find the package, hack it, and obtain those plans. The weapon's test results must be destroyed. Infiltrate the main bunker and upload a virus to the mainframe. Oh, so this is legit. We're gonna have to go in Find there. Find our informant if you can. We need to know if they're still alive. Above all else, find and terminate General Ivanovsky and recover any samples of the weapon. 
Stay focused, Seeker. Dude, I'm getting some some heavy Hitman vibes from this. This is actually like cooler than I thought we were gonna be sitting up on a a mountain, you know, shooting down on them, but we're your first objective is to infiltrate the enemy's facility. It's behind the electric fence. You'll have to cut the power. We've dropped your weapons nearby. Load your map to see the cargo drop-off point. We're actually like getting up close and personal and, and getting after it. So we can open up our map here. Looks like that's where we are. Um, this is our objective area. All right, sounds uh, sounds good to me. Then we're gonna be moving up this way. Bro, this is huge. Are you kidding me right now? I'll update your map with coordinates related to your contracts. You can load it via your mask at any time. You can manually mark waypoints on your map. They'll be displayed directly on your mask's HUD. We can jump across here and climb. Beautiful. How do we get up here? This way? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Might be able to, uh, to turn end. out the power here. Use your mask scanner. It will mark potential passages on your mask's HUD. I already kind of see a way up. How do we scan? LB to toggle mask mode. It highlights climbable Looks ledges. Like your gadget really works. Nice. Beautiful. Movements. Okay, it's a little clunky, but not awful. Whoa, there's no way I can jump that far down. Your suit is made from extremely durable, intelligent microfibers that also support your body's natural regeneration abilities. What's more, your mask syncs with your central nervous system, heavily enhancing your reflexes and coordination. Meaning? You will be fine. <laughs> Alright, so we've got 100 health. Drop hurt us a little bit, but we made it. And now we're regening our health very quickly. That's a nice thing to have. Take him down. Quietly. Bada bing, bada boom. He's <laughs> just say not as loud as your girlfriend when I'm screwing her. It's advisable to deal with them quietly. Where is this guy? Shoot, this guy's looking this way. We're gonna have to get around him somehow, maybe behind the tree. There's more of them. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Gonna come up this way and see, see what we can do. Yeah, dude, I, I love stealth missions like this. This is great. Got a guy down there. Use a decoy to distract them. Luring stone? Better go check that out! Gotcha! Beautiful. Gonna get this dude as well. Good night! And now we've got this one dude over here. I'm gonna try interrogating him. I think it was X to interrogate. You're nice. gonna tell me where the other soldiers are located. Sure, I'll tell you. They're over there. Enemies located, but they're already down, so I don't think that was necessary. Alright, so we're in mask mode here. Looks like our gear is right here. Can pick up this MK12 as well, but I think I'm gonna go for the sniper rifle Got instead. It. You can only carry a limited amount, so keep track of your equipment. Okay. Gonna be able to use our binox here. Ooh. More enemies. Looks like they're guarding the transformer station ahead. Clear the hostiles before you get there. You may need a key card to access the station. I would look for the officers. This one looks like an officer. Search him when you're done. Copy that. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna make sure we tag all these guys while we can. Mm. 
Not, not too bad. All right. So should we just start popping off some rounds or what? Using the environment. Keep an eye out for environment elements. Use them to your advantage. You can upgrade your mask to find them more easily. So, uh, you know, generators, fuse boxes. You can also hide in lockers, trash containers, and crates. Cool. And you can hide bodies in those as well. All right. So I'm going to take it easy for a second here. Do we have... Oh, we can take out the fuse box. Should we just shoot it? But are they going to... I guess we have a suppressor on our, our rifle. So that's 59 meters away. We're going to be able to just do this. Fuse box is down. That's going to lure him over there. 57 meters. Got, oh, we've got the kill cams too. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Good night. He go. Got to watch out for these two and the, the boys over there. All right. So I'm thinking uh, 102 meters. Got him. 110 meters. Got him. Dude. The heads are popping tonight. 70 meters. Woo! All time goes down. I have a live feed from your mask, you know. <laughs> Old habits die hard. We almost messed up that last shot, but uh, we got it done. All right, I'm assuming we can zip line on this. Can we just jump at it? <clears throat> <clears throat> we got to look at it and we got to... We gotta, we gotta hold X, unfortunately. All right, so we're, we're back. We just had to kill all these guys again. So you can loot bodies. I don't think this is the, we got money, adrenaline packs, bouncing beddies, bullets, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think this is the, the officer that he was talking about, but we might as well loot these other guys. We're uh, over here, I think. Yeah, we had to, had to kill all, Six of these guys or five of these guys again, unfortunately. So they're in different spots now. Grab all this. Money. And what do you use money for? Probably for buying new weapons and upgrades and stuff. Alright, got, got the key. Card. Affirmative. The switcher box should be inside. We just go right in here. Nice. Here's our objective. Power down. Good. The fence should be harmless now. So X fill is down here. We can just get right through here. And off we go. Okay. Hopefully no other surprises waiting for us. Oh, there's the generator we were talking about. So we're gonna be able to just jump right over this now. Hopefully. Yeah. Beautiful. Gonna be able to come down here to X fill. Stay in the area until the data is fully synced. It shouldn't take long. I've got your data. Not bad! Well done, Seeker. Alright. On to part number two of the mission. Relic of a failed empire. Sure, one man's ambition. Ivanovsky or Kutchatov? Either. Both. It won't matter to the people they use the weapon on. That's not your concern. Stay focused. Gotta be careful here. Hearing lots of guys. Let me go ahead and pull up our map. So what's our current objective? Find the client spy? I don't really know how we're gonna go. Oh, I guess, I guess it's up here. We've gotta head up this way. So we can go around to the right or around to the left. Looking, looking like around to the right over this way is going to give us kind of like an overhead type view. So that might uh, that might be pretty useful. Oh gosh. Wrong button. Got a bunch of dudes over here going to have to watch out for. Looks like our wrong button mishap actually worked out for us. Is there grass down there? There's no grass. We can just take him out though. Woo! That's three down. 
Beautiful shot right past the mountain. Mm -mm. That's what you love to see. Really hoping there aren't any more guys around here because we didn't really fully, fully loot it out, but or fully scope it out. But we're okay. Can you drive the snowmobile? No. That's unfortunate. Be able to take this guy down. We took this guy down and he fell down the mountain. That's kind of funny. Grab his stuff. Yeah, dude, this is this is interesting. It's chill. I mean, it's it's a pretty beautiful game. It's a, a, a little on rails, if that makes sense. Like, not a lot of variety, but for what it is, I feel like it's pretty good. I'll try to get around and get up top, see if we can get a better view here. Got like a little overlook thing there. Gonna tag both of those guys and hopefully they don't fully come this way because that would be bad. Oh, they're coming this way. I'm gonna try to sp spread them out a little bit. What was that? I don't know. You better go check it out. Can't believe he didn't just hear that. Got them both. Okay. So, if we take a look at our map here, our objective is straight in front of us pretty much. Looks like we can... Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is going to be a, a decent spot. We can bring out the Binox and start to kind of tag people a little bit. Ooh. We got a big boy in there. Looks like he has some sort of a... I've got eyes on the compound. Machine gun. Intel places the laptop there. It contains critical data from Ifanovsky's tests of the bioweapon. Secure the package. Affirmative. Okay. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous because, like, are we free to just start popping off on these guys? I'm going to move us up to a... Oh, shoot. See? There's more guys over there. So, like, how are you ever supposed to really know when you're good? At some point, you just got to trust that you've tagged everybody. And that's that's not an easy thing. Hmm. I think, uh... I think I'm going to head... Head a little bit closer. Let's try to get a better angle. I'm getting a wee bit closer. I'm going to see if we can... I'm going to see if we can try to flank around and actually, like, get inside. Ooh, shoot. That scared me a little bit. I thought that was somebody. Ooh, see? Another guy right here that we haven't seen before. Just going to take him out with the quickness. Good shot, baby. I like the bullet cams, man. That is that is pretty sweet. We've got another guy up top, and then we've got the guys down low, so we're going to be careful about... Oh, my God. I'm going under, boys. Okay. This... This is interesting. He could almost see us right there. That'd be a major issue. Um, gonna see. I hear somebody walking around. I'm gonna see if I can get up top. <coughs> Where we killed this guy. Gotta search his body. Alright, now I think wasn't there a guy up here? Got a little box here. Does that not look like something you'd be able to search through? I could have sworn we tagged a guy up here, but I guess not. Regardless, this kind of looks like maybe an objective type room. I have 
eyes on the target. We'll all be safer when he's in your sights. Okay. So that's our main objective. We need to get over there and take him out. I could have sworn there was a guy up here. It's making me really nervous, but I guess I guess we're okay. We logged into the CCTV and we found our main target. We've also got to destroy the, the test results. We've got to steal samples of the virus. We've got to do a lot of different stuff. So I think the way this works is that each of these objective areas, like obviously the, the orange one here is the big main objective, but then each of the other objectives have little mini objectives in them, which is, is, you know, you don't have to do them, but you can. So like the area that we're currently in, you guys can see we've got to download the plans. I do remember seeing a computer in this room. I'm assuming that's, I'm assuming that's where that's going to be. So I think, I think we want to make our way over there. I'm going to see if we can chuck a rock over there, try to get this guy to move. And we might, might be able to take him out or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. He's definitely moving. I think he's behind that thing. Yeah, they won't see him. Okay. Now we're going to be able to drop back down here. Get past these two guys, which we could take them out, but I don't think we have to. And we're going to come back over here, and I'm going to try to jump in. Oh, shoot. Do you think we could take them both out? Single shot, two guys. Yes, sir. I was going to say, if we can't do that, I don't know what kind of a sniper game this is, but I... I they are shooting at us! Shoot. Are there plans here? Gotta go. Gotta blast, dude. I'm... I'm not sure how to find the plans. I, I saw two guys like looking down. I thought it was going to be a computer, but they were just looking at that table. We might have to come back for that. I'm going to move forward. If we did find the location of the main guy, we should probably go check that out. And honestly, we may... I mean, I don't, I don't know that we're going to go for 100% completion, so we may try to just kind of do some of the main missions. Oh my goodness. There are so many guys. Hostile. A quick reaction force. Can you wipe them out now? Catch them unawares. I mean, we can try. Is there actually an objective over there? No, that's just like backup. So you can take out the backup now if you want, or you can uh, can hope you don't have to meet them later, which is kind of Seeker, interesting. Seeker, we have recovered a recording from Ivanovsky's lab from a listening device planted by our spy. Can you guarantee that this will leave no evidence? It must look like an accident. I assure you, Jack. Going to take this guy out real quick. So this is like a super weapon. It's like a, a ricin type deal where it kills people with without really a trace. Like you can't tell it's in you, and then before you know it, you're you're dead. That's what they're developing out here. Okay. I mean, this is interesting. I'm hoping we don't run into anybody here. Looks like our objective is up here in front of us. I'm gonna try heading up it this seems way. That a lot of people want Ivanovsky dead. Which one are we working for? The one who's paying. <laughs> Does it matter who or what they are? Individual, corporation, or government? I guess not. As long as we're getting our bills paid, then I'm okay with that. Alright, we've got a little sniper hideout here, and it looks like that is our main objective. So technically, I think we could take him out and then call it a mission complete. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. 
He's 122 meters out, so I'm going to put it up to 100. We're going to want it about a quarter tick down if we actually get a chance to see him. Hmm. The cool thing is we have most of these guys tagged from when we hacked into that CCTV. The bad news is we need to find a way to be able to see him. I'm wondering if there's anything over to our right. Well, this isn't good. There's helicopters looking around too. Nobody heard that, right? I tried to do a quick little shot and stab, but it didn't go as quickly as I was hoping it was going to. We'll know that for the future. That isn't really our, our best move that we can use, but uh, hey, at least we took them out. Dude, that was scary. They kind of kind of came out of nowhere a little bit. I really want to go up in there. What does that say? Yeah, that's got to be mines or something. If we could get up there, that would definitely give us an, an angle to be able to shoot him through this doorway, but I don't think that's going to happen. So obviously, ooh, what is this? Oh, security camera. Okay, got to watch out for those. Obviously, the easy answer here is to just walk up in that door and shoot him. I'm trying to see, is there anything we can do? Ooh, hello, sniper up here. Is there anything we can do to kind of draw him out a little bit? You know what I mean? Like blow something up, grab some attention, get him to run outside and take him down. Oh, we got another sniper up here. What's up, fellas? Those guys could have messed our day up. Um, I'm wondering here, let's try shooting. Let's take out his little sniper friend here. So we're going to bring this up to a 150. Take him out. Dude, the kill cams in this are pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. His gun's going to drop, though. That's dangerous. Can we take out his security camera? 126. We can take down the security cameras, but I don't think that's going to grab any attention. That's two down. Oh, we got this guy, too. Can't forget about him. 196. Our furthest shot yet. Oh, baby. Let's go. Good night. Your boy's a beast. Dude, see, I, I love stuff like this. Boom. Took half his face off. <laughs> Took his whole face off, actually. Okay, so that's done. I think... Oop, hello. How far is he? 106. Ooh. Guys on the move. We're okay. Let's, oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Let's check to make sure there aren't any other snipers. I'm looking in the tall areas. We got a guy down here. Got a guy down here. That guy's body fell perfectly. Okay. I mean, I guess. Shoot, is this a... This is a minefield. We can't go walking through that. We're going to get blown up. Could try to take those guys out. Yeah, we don't want to go walking through minefields, dude. We need to either find an angle that we can shoot this guy from. Or... Get up in his face. I think he's still in there. Not gonna mess with big boy over there. Oh, shoot. That is no bueno. No way, dude. This is... <laughs> this is so sick. There's another guy over there that we didn't have tagged. Oh, we could have shot the generator and had him come outside. 
Or had somebody come outside. Yeah, he's coming outside, dude. We could have shot that from a distance. We didn't have to come all the way up here. You got to look for the environmental clues, Trev. We're going to be okay, though. Still going to take old dude out. Got him. Job done. Good work, Seeker. You can exfil safely now. Check your map. After that close of a call, I think I'm going to, sir. I think I'm just going to get the heck out of here. Oh, my goodness. Bro, we should have just... Sh if we would have shot it from a distance, we would have been fine. We wouldn't have had to quick scope him up close. But we're okay. I'm going to come down this way. We are just fine. Looks like this is all explosive materials and stuff. I'm getting out of here. We could do those side missions, but I think for this... This first one, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go, 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 go. So we gotta get over to our orange exfil point. And that's gonna be a mission, a mission complete in our first one. Seems like I didn't get the full intel briefing. There's more here than what I was told. We often work in the dark, Seeker. I know the way up there too. We've already been through here before. Can we, oh shoot. We're taking quite a bit of damage, but we're okay. I think we could just go around this way and we should be good. Jump across here. Jump across here. Come on, baby. Whew. We are Audi. Nice. Let's go, boy. Dude, that was actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. So we got 16% of the level. You know, like I said, we didn't really do anything but the main mission. There was kind of a lot going on. Um, secure. On the move. Well done, Zika. We're still here. That didn't end it. I thought that was going to end it because it was our main contract. But I guess we're going to have to complete all five of these to be able to complete this map and move on to the next one. I'm pretty sure there's five maps in total. So... Interesting. This is gonna be this is gonna be more involved than I thought. Like honestly, I was kind of on the fence. I was like, do I want to do the side missions? Do I not? I, I I don't know. For this first episode, I was just gonna kind of go for the main one. But I I like that they're gonna make you do that. So this is a lot deeper and a lot a lot more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. I think I think that's kind of a good spot to end this first episode. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to continue this, we can definitely make that happen. And uh, in our next episode, we'll take on those next four contracts. We'll try to complete all four in one video. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you guys want to see more. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.